it's Linda. I'm here in Fort Lauderdale. I want to show you our squares. I had a video that I had online, can't find it. So I want to do another video that's going to show our squares and fussy cutting. Martelli squares come in a two and a half through a nine and a half. And then we have the fussy cut frames. These are the two and a half to five and a half, but they come like this too. We do some really great bundles. So if you're interested, let me know. But I want to show you how they work. We're used to these guys. The idea of see-through, I was all caught up in, this is see-through, and this is not, this is not going to work, this works. But hey, what does this do? I see it moves on me. I see when I go to cut, I've got to put pressure on here. I see that my fingers are splayed out, that that hurts. I see that I should buy some extra fabric when I use this template because it's probably going to move on me when we cut. The other thing, too, is if we look at it, I'm going to have Jen zoom in. This guy here on this black fabric, of course, black numbers, black fabric, it's hard to see. But even when I turn this over, it's still kind of hard to see. And when I have another busier fabric, it's still hard to see. Let me pull this out so you can see. Do you see on this how hard it is for me to see? So I'm looking at this here and I want to do a three and a half inch square. I don't know if Jen, if you can see the three and a half, I'm going to put my glasses on to show you. From here to here is a three and a half. From here to here is a three and a half. I have to figure out what will fit in that three and a half. Will this fit? Will this fit? Will this fit? This is fussy cutting. We're going to do this in a few minutes, but do you see how I have to use this to figure out? That's hard to do. So when you see how I fussy cut, we're going to make it simple to do. So even see through as much as, yeah, I can see, I see it's still going to be a little bit of work. So let's talk about the template in general. I've got black fabric. I've got six layers here. You can cut up to 10 layers. When you're first learning with the rotary cutter, Martelli's rotary cutter, I want you to think about two, four, maybe six. Later on, you can do two, four, six, eight, maybe even 10. Black fabric, black template. Let's make it easy on us and turn it over so you can see. See how that's there? I'm going to grab a little bit bigger square so you can see. Now, I've got my glasses on, but even if you don't have an issue with your glasses, I want you to take advantage of this. Don't do this. Don't do this. When you're here on the side, you may be cutting the edge, but you may not be. And if we don't cut straight, we can't sew straight. So put it on the side. I'm going to roll backwards and forwards. Turn the template. A mini turntable. We just had a big <gasps> over here. I so. Did. Place the template, the rotary cutter on the side of the template, backwards, forwards. When I turn that template, that's ensuring that I'm going to get nice, crisp corners there. So when I go to piece, all of my blocks are going to be perfect. This, if I line this up on the mat, you'll see it's perfect. You guys have seen that probably before if you've been to a show or you've watched any of my other videos. What I want to do is fussy cut. So let's come to actually the black first. So with the black, with the templates, we make fussy cuts. These guys go with these. This goes with this. And again, when we look at what we're doing with this, I'm looking at all of that and saying, oh my gosh, that's kind of hard to see. So we're gonna use the fussy cut frame. The three and a half, that's the size I was talking about before. I've got this, the frame. What I love about this versus this, I have to figure out where on this template is three and a half. I don't have to, here. I look at this and I eliminate all that background. I can look and see, do I like that? Do I like that? Do I like this? Do I like this on point? There's nothing really nice in this fabric, but you get the idea. When I've got that the way I want it, if that's what I want, this doesn't have the get a grip, so it moves on me. So I'm gonna hold that in place. I take the template with the get a grip, that locks in. I'll pop the fabric that removes that fussy cut. I'm going to move from here to my shoulder. Why? My arm naturally extends, the hand, the rotary cutter, extends from my shoulder. Cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut. Again, place on the side, roll backwards, forwards, okay? So, fussy cutting without the fussing, that's a big deal. But I want to go to this fabric because this is more realistic of what we're going to be doing. So if I'm doing a quilt that has three and a half, three and a half, three and a half blocks, now I've got my frame. Do you see how I can choose? I'm looking at this guy and I'm seeing, do I like the green? Do I like the green? Do I want it more here? Visually, I'm able to look and see, do I like this here? Remember, the seam allowance is built in here. So I'm going to lose a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch. So you've got to decide. I don't know, if it, Jen, if you can see that, but there's not enough fabric down there. So I go in and I choose with this fussy cut frame. I can see here, I can see here. Sometimes getting the whole guy in isn't the big deal. Do you see how I can choose him and then getting this piece down here? So you choose what it is you want to do. 
looking at this and being able to see not enough room for his snout here for the fin. So being able to choose. So when I find what it is that I want to get, I'm gonna go here. I place that template inside, again, holding this in place, pop that template inside, pop. Now what I don't want to do is ruin all of my other possibilities that I have here. So I'm going to start on the side, roll backwards just a little bit past and then turn. All of this, get a grip, is grabbing that fabric. My hand here is holding that in place, roll backwards just a little bit past that template, backwards just a little bit past that template, and straighten all that mess out because we've made a little bit of a mess here. I want to get that straight so I'm not wasting all that additional fabric. And what do I get? Fussy cut and without the fuss, and I get exactly what it is I want to get. Notice there are some creases in there. I would have pressed it first, but you get the idea. So this is a quick way for you to be able to take advantage of our squares with the fussy cut frames. We do the same thing in the triangles. The triangles have fussy cut frames. I do have a video that shows you with the triangles how to do diamonds and fussy cutting with the diamonds. Of course, we make diamonds too, so the diamonds are really cool. And then you'll also see with my circles, folding and folding, I don't want to waste any more of my fabric. Pretend polka dots. Pretend that I have polka dots here and I place this on, folding, folding, and a perfect circle. So my videos will show you that too. Hopefully this will help. We do some great bundles on here. If you're interested in pricing, send me an email. You'll have my phone number, all that stuff on the screen. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Jim, for filming. See ya.